Boom, listen, welcome to the Trucker Brown channel. And today we're gonna to talk about what you need to bring to trucking school today. thought of it, I'm going to go to trucking school. I want to get this done. I think this is going to be an excellent thing for me. You're hyped up. You're ready to go. But then it's like, what do I bring to trucking school? Let's start from the beginning. Number one, do you have any type of luggage? I suggest you bring one backpack and a carry-on. The carry-on is a little thingy that you see inside of the, um, the airport and there all the guys are walking around and they're carrying it. It has a thing that it opens up and it goes, open it up like that and you put stuff in it, you can close it, put it back down and you're out of here. Bring one of those and a backpack. That's real easy. That, if it doesn't fit in there, do not bring it. Those things also have room for you to put your laptop under your clothes, put five changes of clothes. What I suggest is this, you can tell your trainer, if you have a trainer that lets you, um, that, let, that lets you wash clothes every week. You need to let him know, I have five pairs of everything. I need to wash clothes once a week. He may not let you do it, but throw it out there anyway. So you have one week of clothes. That's five pairs of shoes. I'm not, ugh, cut that. That's five drawers, five pairs of pants, five shirts, a decent jacket, a decent hoodie, you know, um, and, and all the stuff you need for your hygiene. Your hygiene must be together. Your hygiene must be together. Your hygiene must be together. If you stink, your trainer hates you immediately. Unless your trainer stinks too, and then y'all are just a happy, stinky couple. The thing you need is some money to eat for you to take care of yourself. You're an adult now. You're going to this career. Have your own money. You don't need to be out there begging for cigarettes and smokes and food and let me get some and all that stuff. That makes people instantly hate your guts. Bring money with you. I suggest before they start paying you, let's say you're going to a company like Prime, before they start paying you, it's gonna be about two to three weeks before you actually start getting paid from them. You need about three to $500 and you need to go to a Walmart and get your food for your room. Don't eat at McDonald's, you cannot afford it, okay? This is for the people that can. The people that can, there's no reason for you to comment, but I know you will anyway. Bring about $500 for you to have your own money, dude. Have your own money, have your own smokes, have your own food. And while you're at school, do not drink, okay? Don't drink, these schools have an eye out and if you drink any alcohol, usually they just boot you out. That's just how it works. So, and a lot of the places, the establishments that are around these big mega carriers, they own them. So they have cameras in there and everything and people that run and snitch. Do not drink, please do not drink. Another thing too, bring a work ethic. If you do not have a work ethic, you will not pass. You need to go in there with the thought process that I am going to study and I'm going to get this done. I'm not here to play around. I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to bump uglies and get pregnant in orientation, which, you know, I hear it happens. Never be one of the cool kids. There's gonna be a group of people just like high school. You understand? Going to trucking school is just like high school. There's gonna be a group of cool people and the cool people are the main ones who are freaking failing out of the class. Do not hang out with these people. You need to find the people who are about studying. You need to find the people who are about doing better and you need to be near them and have someone to study off of. Drill. Another thing you need to do is get an app. It's called CDL Practice Test, or just go to your app store and type in anything about the CDL Practice Test, and you can give your, it's, it's uh, 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 cards, it's flash cards on your phone for you to practice the permit and practice the pre-trip and practice the tanker and practice the hazmat over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So when you go and you actually do the test, you actually have it right then there on your, uh, You'll, it'll feel like the phone and you'll feel comfortable. Boom, you'll, 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 you'll pass. It's, it's a great situation. Get some sleep. Don't stay up all night, dude. Boo-hooing, loving. Oh, I miss you too. No, you miss me. No, I miss you more. No, you miss me. I miss you. You hang up. No, you hang up. All right, I love you. Give me a kiss. I'll see you later. 
Don't do that, dude. Don't do that. That is every minute that you're not sleeping is energy that you're taking from you on the next day. And then you're going to suck the next day and be irritable and someone talk mean to me and I'm angry. It's because you are not managing your time. Trucking is a job that you have to manage your time. So if you're not managing your time in trucking school, you're screwed. They have no remorse for you because you didn't manage your time. The job is managing time. That's all trucking is really, is managing time. So if you can't even manage your time in trucking school, you're gonna suck as a trucker. And they're gonna boot you out and rightfully so, and you deserve it. Do not talk back to the instructors. You're not a trucking wizard. I don't care that your uncle and your friend and your brother-in-law has a truck and they're trucking and I'm only gonna do a year and then I'm gonna go run with them and make $30,000 a day. No one cares. You're a sweet meat, flat back, sugar butt, thigh meat rookie. You don't know what you're talking about. Do what you need to do to get your license and get out of there. If someone wants to talk to you and you say, I know that's not right, no one cares. There's no such thing as right and wrong. There's getting it and not getting it. Come here ready to work. We do not need any more crappy truckers on the road. So stop thinking you know everything. That's everything I want to tell you about becoming a trucker. You will do well if you try hard and you don't do drugs, and you don't drink, and you come ready to work. That's the point. Welcome to the Trucker Brown channel where I don't hold any punches. I just tell you the truth. Hit the like button, hit the sub button, because it's more to come. And follow me at Trucker Brown on Instagram.